Hey there, I'm Jen. Welcome back to the Holistic Yoga YouTube channel. And today we're gonna to talk about being on your period and how to relieve your cramps, tiredness, achiness, stiffness with Holistic Pole Yoga. I'm gonna show you a tutorial that you can do with these poses that's all on the ground that's gonna help rewire your nervous system and get you back into the moment and get you back feeling better and get you more energy in your body. I know the last thing you wanna do when you're on your period is get up and move around, but it really is the best thing that you can do. Today's mini tutorial is gonna help you end the crankiness and the achiness and get back to feeling vibrant and energetic. Now, I still suggest when you're menstruating that you do take time to get extra rest, take baths, really deep dive into more self-care during your cycle. In Holistic Pole Yoga, we really honor all the cycles of life, our daily cycles, our monthly cycles, and even if you're not menstruating anymore and you still have a time that you're feeling achy or cranky, you can use this session as well. Now, one of the huge differences when you're on your period that we do in Holistic Pole is we do not go upside down. We do not put our feet over our head. So keep that in mind if you're a member of the Holistic Yoga Academy to never put your feet up over your head when you're on your period. So definitely keep that in mind if you're a member of the Holistic Yoga Academy that we're not gonna do any inverted poses when we're on our period. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date every week with all the tutorials that I put out on the pole and off the pole in the kitchen. Holistic Pole Yoga is here to help you live your best life at any age. It only takes a small amount of space, and since we stay on the ground, anybody can do it. This mini tutorial is also great if you have super limited mobility and you can't do some of the other poses that we do or can't go at the normal speed that we go out. We're really gonna slow it down. We're gonna be tapping into our womb space and really connecting our body with our breath. For this mini tutorial, you are gonna need a yoga pole. I will drop a link down in the description below. If you don't have a yoga pole, there's a few that we recommend in Holistic Pole Yoga. They leave no marks. They're super easy to install and I do believe they are the number one fitness tool. So if you don't have a yoga pole, it's time for you to get one. Okay, now let's get started at the pole. We're gonna begin in home pose. Our elbows are up, taking that big deep breath in. Exhaling out. Big deep breath in. Exhaling out. One more big deep breath in. And then exhaling out. Now we're gonna go back and forth from our tippy toes to our heels, but we're gonna go super slow. So go up to your toes and then go down, down, down to the arches of your feet, rolling back to the balls of your feet, going back, 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 and then going forward. We're really slowing down these movements today. Breathing, listening to your body, bringing the breath all the way down to the root chakra. Breathing. Deep breath in. Exhaling out. Deep breath in. Rolling back one more time. Exhaling out. Good. Now we're gonna step just a little bit further than shoulder width apart. Usually we go way far out with this modification. We're gonna bring our hands down between our sacral chakra and our solar plexus, and we're gently gonna sway back and forth, keeping that knee right above the ankle, and we're not gonna sit all the way down into it. We're just going back and forth really slow here. Really slow, side to side. Usually we go really wide and we go a little bit faster, but we're slowing it down and we're bringing the legs in. We're really bringing that energy into the root chakra, keeping that spine really straight. Breathing. Breathing. Good, now we're gonna come to standing side angle. So you're gonna bring your feet to the pole, holding the pole at the shoulder. The back of the hand is to the back of the wall, bringing up your right hand, ear in line with the biceps, chin is parallel with the ground. Dropping those shoulders, keeping the elbow bent so the elbow's down to the ground, breathing. Breathing, good job. Holding that pole, strengthening your muscles, good. You can either turn around or step to the other side. Feet right next to the pole, right in line with the arch, holding the pole at the, at, holding the, pole at the shoulder, bringing that hand up, 
breathing, dropping your shoulders again, ear in line with the biceps. Breathing. This is all about symmetry, keeping that spine straight. Good. Now we're going to come into center pose. We're going to bring the feet to the pole. We're going to reach all the way up on our tippy toes, sliding down. Center pose, pushing that bottom to the wall behind you. Gently bend those elbows, looking at the pole. Breathing. Swaying these hips gently side to side. Really gently swaying the hips. Really, really, really gently bending those elbows, looking at the pole. Breathing. Breathing. Good, T-pose, holding that pole at the shoulder. Feet don't move. We're gonna open up into T-pose, the elbows down, looking back at that hand, breathing. Breathing. Opening that heart chakra, coming back to the pole. We're using our breath to calm our nervous system and connect that breath with your root chakra, with your sacral chakra with the solar plexus as it's coming up to the heart, through the throat chakra, feeling your third eye open, going to the crown chakra. Good, now we're gonna take a deep breath and we're gonna gently forward fold. Now usually when we forward fold, we're gonna go all the way down. If that's too much pressure for you today, just come gently forward. If you can go more further down, listen to your body and do that, but it's okay if you can only come here Again, this is a modified little mini tutorial. Great for the first three days when you're menstruating. Good, star pose, reaching that right hand up, left hand down, looking up at that right hand. Breathing. Breathing, good job. Good, left hand up, right hand down. Breathing, good job. Now we're gonna to come to extended forward fold. So the feet are gonna stay shoulder width apart, grabbing the pole at your heart chakra, looking up at the pole. Breathe, pulling that belly button in your spine. You're doing amazing. Gently bend those elbows, looking at the pole. Breathing. Deep breath in. Exhaling, deep breath in, exhaling, deep breath in, exhaling. Now we're gonna do a modified hero's pose. So we're gonna come to the pole, femur length away, and instead of bringing the, the leg all the way up like we normally do, we're just gonna hold here. So we're gonna do a modified version here. Instead of going all the way over and bringing the leg all the way up, we're just gonna bring it down at an angle and we're gonna hold. We're really just opening that hip here. Pushing that bottom forward, breathing. Pointing the toe. Good, switch, opposite side. You can either turn around or step to the opposite side. We're just gonna open this hip just gently. Breathing. All of these poses are more gentle and we're doing the easiest modifications to each of these poses. Good job. Reverse star, left hand down, thumb down, right hand up, dropping that pelvis down. Bringing the chin up gently, ear in line with the biceps. Bicep. Breathing. Remember we hold each pose for at least 12 counts or three deep breaths. Left hand up, right hand down, breathing. Good job. Deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale, now we're gonna come down, grabbing that pole between the legs. And we're not gonna drop the head all the way down unless you feel like it. 
We're still going to have a little resistance here, looking up at the ground. Breathing. Breathing, bringing the hands behind the back, feet together, back flat. Reverse table. Breathing. Breathing. Deep breath in. Exhale into the body. Deep breath in and on the exhale, we're gonna rise up, feet shoulder width apart, reverse plank, dropping that pelvis down, opening the chest, breathing, opening that womb space, focusing on your sacral chakra, your spleen, which is right here in between your belly button and the bottom of your body here, breathing. Good, now we're gonna turn back into forward angle, both feet to the pole, hands down between the root chakra and the sacral chakra, bending the elbows, leaning back gently. Breathing. Breathing. Good, one more inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna come down to the ground, forward sitting lotus, feet together, knees down to the earth, pulling your spine straight. Elbows bent slightly, breathing. Breathing, deep breath in, exhale. Deep breath in, exhale. Deep breath in, exhale. Now we're gonna come back into T-pose, looking back at that hand, breathing. Breathing. You're doing so amazing. Right hand back to the pole, left hand back, elbow down. Breathing. Good, now we're gonna come down to the ground, all the way down, back to the ground, feet on the earth, hands on the earth, and we're breathing. Gently breathing. Good, acclimating to the earth. Good, we're gonna take the right foot up to the pole, drop the left foot down. Modified scissors pose here, pointing the toes. Breathing. Breathing, good. Left foot up, right foot down, pointing the toes. Breathing. Breathing. Deep breath in. Exhaling, dropping both feet down to the ground, laying into corpse pose. Bring your hands over your sacral chakra and breathe. Breathing into your body, sending your body love, sending your womb space love. I love you, body. I love you, body. Say it with me. I love you, body. 
Deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. This time on the deep breath in, we're gonna pull our knees to our chest just like we're in the womb. Wrapping your hands around your knees, breathing. Breathing, I am safe in my body. My body knows exactly what to do to keep me healthy. My body is self-healing, self-cleansing, self-knowing, self-aware. I love my body. Breathing. Deep breath in. Exhale, deep breath in. Drop the legs down to the side. Drop the legs down to the side. And then we're gonna gently sit up, bringing our back to the pole, coming into reverse sitting lotus pose. And now you're gonna take both of your hands and you're gonna look up. Breathing. Good, now take your hands and stretch them on the back of the legs, the back of the wrist, I mean the wrists are bent and the back of the hands are on the legs. Keeping that spine straight, chin parallel with the pole. Good job. Now we're gonna shake it out into sitting pose, shaking it out into sitting. Shake your hands, shake your feet. Good, and then from here you can come into meditation. You can get out your journal journal any of the thoughts or feelings that have come up for you during this session. And you can use holistic yoga to get through your cycle. It really is important for you to take care of you and nurture yourself, even if it's just doing this little mini tutorial. There are full sessions in the holistic yoga academy for pulling on your period, and we go even deeper into body talk, into listening to ourselves, into breathing, into going even deeper than we just did for this mini tutorial. And I'll drop the link below for the holistic yoga academy for you to sign up right now to become a member. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and and hit that notification bell and maybe you could share this video with anybody that you know that's menstruating that you think that this might help them as well remember sharing is caring i'm on a mission to share holistic yoga around the world with women because i know that it can really help them live their best and feel their best and i believe that that's what women deserve if you believe that women's health matters too join me at the yoga poll and let's change the world together i look forward to seeing you there namaste at the poll